into a short story time video. So this happened the other day because my mom and dad are currently going through a divorce. My mom had to kind of pretty much go forth with a divorce because he pretty much left us with nothing. And it's kind of been a hard time for both of us. Long story short, he left me and my mom and my boyfriend was here. It happened the other day that me and my mom was going to see um, a attorney. And what happened, <laughs> it was like, I know this isn't a laughing matter and I'm sorry, but the whole day was just, I don't even know, it was funny. We woke up early and we was like, oh crap, we're going to miss the attorney appointment. And then um, I got dressed real fast. She was hurrying up, like running around the house. And we finally got to the attorney's office. And what happened was um, we started signing these papers. And because I was like wanting to know um, when and who, like what time did you come in? Who did you come with? Blah, blah, blah. And why are you seeing him? And you had to pay like $80. And I was like, Mom, that says a MasterCard. And I said, I thought this was a free consultation. And she's like, oh my gosh, Cassie. She's like, we're at the wrong attorney's office. And so my mom had to go up to the, the woman that was taking the papers and said, um, ma'am, I'm sorry, but we're at the wrong attorney's office. She just looked at us and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And she just said, oh, bless your heart. It's going through a rough time. She's really understanding about it. And she's just really sweet. So um, we left and my mom, she's like, I can't believe we went to the wrong attorney's office. And before I knew it, because like the road went straight, but it was like a sharp right. And for some reason, it wasn't like a curved like a smooth curve and it was like just like a ch -ch. and all of a sudden we felt like the truck go boom boom and it was her running over a freaking curve finally something funny that happened in our lives for these last few weeks so we went home and i think like i took a nap for like four hours i like sleep all the time like sleeping is my hobby but I took a nap and we finally woke up. We went to the right attorney's office this time. So we was like, yeah, we're ready to go. We got everything. We got all of the papers. We was finally ready to go. We didn't know where he was at the time. So we like passed that, <laughs> the office, like I think maybe twice, three times. And we parked across the street and it was like freezing. It was like 30 degrees outside. And I had leggings on. <laughs> it was too cold for leggings. You could feel the breeze was like cutting through my leggings. So we finally got to the office where we're supposed to be. And there's an elevator. And I remind you that my mom is scared of heights. So what happened was it was on the eighth floor. Got in the elevator and we was ready to go. And I pushed the eighth button and I pushed close because I just get weird when people's on an elevator with me. And it, like, let's say his room, like I'm not gonna give you exact room number, but let's say his room number is 803. So right when we got out, it showed 803. And I was like, oh, there it is. And I went up to it and it wouldn't open. So I was like sitting here like jerking on it. And all of a sudden, <laughs> doorknob fell off. I didn't know what to do. I was like, mom, the doorknob fell off. She's like, Cassie, just put it back on. And I was trying to put it back on. It wasn't going back on. So I looked to my right because it was like the door and to the right, like the immediate right was a water fountain that was broken down. So I put the doorknob back. I tried to put it back so many times, like few times 
and it wasn't going back. So what I did, which is smart, is to put the doorknob already on the broken water fountain and just be done with the whole ordeal. So we went in there. We had an overall good talk with the attorney. He was really sweet and kind of stern and understood all of our needs. So we went back and doorknob was fixed. So they fixed the doorknob at home and we told my brother about what has happened and he just thought we was the goofiest things ever. But it was a day and a half. It was like everything wrong went wrong. And I just, I thought that was a really funny day after everything that we've been coming through here lately. But I will bring you guys along with me to see some Christmas lights. If you guys want to come along with me, continue watching, and I will be back. How are we supposed to go to the Christmas lights? Well, we're in a traffic jam. Yeah. That's happening. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. Yep. I'm gonna end this today. Love you guys.